Hey guys, this is Chuck67322, and I'm going to show you how to make CS3 style icons in Photoshop. So, fire it up. And make a new document with these specifications. 512, 512. Resolution 72. Color mode, RGB color, 8 bit. Background content should be transparent. Okay. <coughs> After that, go to a rectangular marquee tool. Make a fixed size in the style. Fixed size. Use these dimensions 480 pixels by 468 pixels. And then click anywhere in the document to make that marquee box. Okay, so after that, you should get the um, gradient tool. Click the thing to open the gradient editor. I'm gonna make it red for the first stop. And for the second stop, you should make um, it slightly darker than the first stop you did. After that, just Make the line as straight as you can. Straight as you can. Okay. So after that, you should go to filter, render, lighting effects. Here, I'll just do this first. There. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go give a moment and just like keep it still so you can see clearly what it is. Yeah. And then, for the settings, the intensity should be 17 and the focus should be 78. And then, after that, click OK. There. Now you can finally click the move tool, press Apple A, and then click these two buttons to center that box. And after that, click the horizontal type tool, you can press T. And these are the specifications for the text that you should use. For a font you should use Myriad Pro, semi bold for the style. The size should be 315 point. And then the anti alias should be smooth. Okay, so I'm gonna type PS. I know it looks weird because it's like uh, it's like flash color. And center it again, like that. Clicking those two buttons. And then after that, click that blank space over there. The blank space. If you do it, if you do it like near the text, it'll like make you uh, uh, change the name of the layer. Which you don't want to do. Okay, so after that, and layer style window should pop up. Go to and then click on drop shadow. Make the opacity 50, the angle 90, the distance 1, the size 1, and then click OK. You'll just give the uh, text like a floaty feel. Like it's rising off the um, gradient thing. And then do the same thing. Click in the white, uh, the, like the blank area, not on the text. 
for the gradient layer. Click on drop shadow again. 50 opacity. Distance should be 13. Size should be 10. Okay, now click OK. And your icon is done for now. You press Apple S to save it. Save it to your desktop as as PS app, app icon or whatever. I don't know. That was like some kind of random name. Do like uh Bob. Save. Save it as stop PSD. Okay. So I'm gonna be using IMG to uh, ICNS. I'll put a link in the in the description. Uh, so just like drag it onto that window over there. Then your ICNS file should be right over there. Your icon, basically. So after that, the candy bar. You should open Candy Bar. I'll have a download link in the description, as I said earlier. This is Lee right there. Finding the applications. Okay, this is taking too long. Just do it the quick way by just basically pressing Apple I on some kind of application. I'll just use OEK Catch. Uh, press Apple I on the ICNS file also. Click on this like small preview of the icon. Press Apple C. Click on the icon for over here and press Apple Z. Now your thing should be like the uh, uh, the the icon that you just made. Okay, so you're welcome. I hope this helped you, and uh, please subscribe.